Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 18th and 19th, Monday and Tuesday, for my Sagittariuses. Hi Sagittariuses, how are you? You have had so much ups and downs, I'm so, so sorry, but my, a lot of my Sagittariuses are telling me that they are feeling the energy shifts. Now, just because you're feeling it doesn't mean that, that's, that it's like it's that light switch. Well, it's over there, right? Um, you can't see it. It's not like it's going to just turn on and turn off. You know, it, it's something that builds. It's something that then flows. It is, you know, energy is not. Now, yeah, if it isn't a current that you can do that, you can possibly help that. But first of all, I'm just short reading. I'm using my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. And this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, so back to the energy thing. So, you know, some of the things, though, that you can do, you can help it to turn on. Maybe more of the dimmer switch, but you can help it. I posted an article about this new about this full moon, this Libra full moon, on my Facebook page. It's a short article, so you may want to take a look. You don't have to, I'm not, but it, it was an interesting article about how all this stuff happening at this time, and they start talking about zeros and new beginnings and stuff, and I understand the new beginnings, uh, but it, it was the zeros, and I understand the zeros, but I can't really, you know, communicate that well. But anyway, it is a time to give, it is a time for balance. Libra wants balance. The energy of Libra wants balance. It doesn't mean that, you know, every Libra you meet is balanced, but they, but the energy wants balance. It wants also justice. And you have been waiting, you have been wanting that too. Some of you have been getting that. Some of you have been still waiting for that. Some of you, you know, and sometimes, you know, they say justice is blind. So sometimes justice doesn't necessarily come when you, well, it doesn't always, it doesn't come when you want it. It comes when, you know, when it's, when it's meant to be that time. So there are, but these are times for justice. Now, we also have that retrograde thing going on. I think it's till the 28th. So that's happening too. But I know that some, Lib some okay, with the Libra moon, yes. I know that some Sagittariuses have been so out of balance. And with this Libra moon, this energy is going to try to bring, is going to try to have balance around you. The only thing with that is sometimes we don't want balance, okay? Sometimes the chaotic, and you know, this is, I'm thinking that there's some people out there, sometimes the chaotic is easier to live with than the balanced, okay? I, I, I don't, you know, it, it's just an uncomfortable situation to be, to have that. So just be aware that maybe you or people around you to the point that maybe they put you in the piece, okay? I'm kind of getting this thing about that there's chaos going around you. You are part of that chaos. It doesn't mean that you want that chaos, but it's like, it's like, well, I want, you know, you know and you might even be screaming out, I want balance, but it's like, with these people around you or this energy around you, it's hard to achieve. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, I'm and again, I'm feeling this. It, it it's really I'm feeling that this something out there. There's a Sagittarius out there. It's like you need to you need to have this um, almost like a, a internal flush. It's not that you yourself are not a good person because I really think that you are. But it's like you you have been living in so much chaotic energy that it's like it's hard to get that out of you. It's almost like it's come down to a cellular, you know, level. So with that, I'm going to tell you again, you know, read up as much as you can about this full moon coming on. Um, you know, I'm also going to be posting a two, I'm going to try, I, I, I think I have two types of full moon ceremonies, um, one for more of the Christian aspect, one for more of the pagan aspect. I am not promoting either one. I am just saying, you know, and also too, I'm saying, so look at it and then adapt it to your own spirituality, okay, your own belief system. So if they're, you know, if it's not, you know, if you, you know, if you are um, of another 
belief system. It, these are both easily adaptable. So, you know, you, so, and I have people of all faiths. So, and I think that you can, but these are the two that I, I know that I can get my hands on. So I'm gonna put those out there. So these are things that I want you to think about, okay? So let's go here and let's see what these um, cards are saying. Now they're all face down. So the first one is the nine of water. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sagittarius, this is your wish comes true. Concerns fade away, a love of life. So this is that thing again. And so I, I'm, I'm really happy for this because like I said, there's been, I'm feeling such chaotic energy around you right now. So this is saying that as this comes in, and I don't think it's just going to be Monday, Tuesday, and then, oops, Wednesday, nope. I think this is going to be what this whole, what this whole time, what this whole energy is going to be coming about. So really, really think, what is it that you truly, truly want? Okay, sometimes you may, you know, it may be, well, I want security. Well, security, sometimes to get it, you might have to move, and then that makes you feel very insecure, but it's to bring you security. Do you know what I'm saying? It's very convoluted, or it can seem very convoluted to us, we, we know, because we can't see that bigger picture. Okay, let's see what this next card says. The Ten of Earth. Oh my goodness, again. This is, so we have our water. Water is our Cancer, uh, Scorpio, and our Pisces energy, which is leaving us. And, you know, fluidity, emotional. And then we have our Earth, which is our Taurus, our Capricorn, and our Virgo. It's our money. It's our home. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things of life. So it, again, it's like, you know, you know we may not necessarily see it. It may not be totally obvious to us. But it's like it's, it's falling. It's, it's like that. I'm feeling like there's a piece of clay and there's somebody that's taking that clay and prepping it to make a beautiful piece of art out of it, okay? And I'm feeling, you know, are we the clay? I don't know that we're the clay. It could just be our lives. Remember, yes, we are our lives, our lives are us, but sometimes it's our lives that can be molded, and then we actually develop, we actually live up to that. I mean, if you were, if you were born into um, a... You know, uh, uh, and I don't. I don't want to go with finances. I'm not going. But if you were born in, into, uh, you know, into a situation, a family that was very negative or you know not necessarily positive, you know, it's like it's taking that and it's switching that around. I really can feel that energy about the life itself. So something's changing for the life for your lives. Okay, this last card is reversed, and I read these as more powerful messages. And this one is life experience. And again, I did not see this. This is Archangel Shamil. And this was a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change time to spread your wings. So in all of these things, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps on this one. I feel like I want to like just kind of rub them away. But all of these things are saying that with this full moon, with this new energy, this equinox, things are starting to lift off of you. Now, you yourself, though, my Sagittarius, is need to embrace that, okay? Not to say that you give up your responsibilities or all, you know, just any kind of ties to life. Not to say that to say, okay, you know, wherever. Um, you know, like, okay, I get in my car in the morning, I'm headed for work, but oh, I want to go there. Well, maybe you do. Maybe you're supposed to go there. I don't know. But it's not that you, advoca you abdicate all responsibilities. It's No, it's not. But it's, again, I feel like, I feel like there's a big, I mean, I can almost feel the energy. I feel like there's this big clay. You're somewhere in the middle, and it's like there's this divine energy reshaping your life, okay? And that's starting. It's, you know, people will say, well, I want it now. No, hey, it's coming, and it will come, and it can come. You, though, have to do your part, okay? Okay. So, my Sagittarius, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.